Hi guys, so today I'm going to share with you a beginner's guide to highlighting and contouring. The number one question that I get asked lately um, has been, how do you contour? Can you teach me to contour? So that's why I thought I would do this kind of video, a beginner's guide to contouring and highlighting. So if you're just starting out with contouring and highlighting and would like to know more, then just keep watching my video. Okay, so first I am going to start with the under eye area. Now the reason why you highlight under your eyes, mainly using a concealer like what I'm going to do today, is to obviously bring light there. Of course you could use a concealer which is just the same color as your skin. If you use a concealer which is like a shade or two lighter than your skin tone, then it'll just brighten that area and make you look more awake and more fresh. So I just dab a little bit under my eyes and then bring it down in this like triangle shape. Doing it in this triangle shape really helps accentuate the cheekbones and make them appear like they are higher on your face. So I'm just gonna blend this concealer out uh, with my F64 from Sigma and I'm just going to tap it in. Making sure that I'm keeping that triangle shape. So bringing it all the way back there. So this will not only cover all of the dark circles under my eyes, um, but it'll also give that highlighted effect. Now with the highlighting concealer, you could go one step further. I'm not going to because this is like a beginner's contouring and highlighting video, but you could also use the concealer to highlight other areas of your face that you want to appear um, further out on the face which gives that more chiseled look. So you could go down the center of your nose, you could go in the middle of your forehead, um, on your chin as well. Oh, oh gosh, almost fell backwards. So there's a couple different types of contouring and highlighting products. So you've got your classic powders, you have creams. Get that on my face. My personal favorite would be powders just because I do have an oily complexion. So if you're using a cream contour or a highlighting product, you would use it now before you set with powder because if you set your foundation and concealer with powder now and then you use your cream products, it would look very cakey. Like, like you've got multiple layers of product on your face and you don't want that. So I'm just going to set now. Uh, with my Rimmel Stay Matte Press Powder. Probably, probably my favorite powder. This one is in the translucent shade, so it's not going to add any kind of color to my face. So I can just apply it everywhere. And I do like to apply it a little bit heavier where I know I'm going to put my like contour, which is right along here, because I know that will help me blend out my contour later on. I also like to concentrate it around my forehead. I also contour my forehead. This is the AC onto a contour and highlighting kit from Australis. Sort of a knockoff of the um, Anastasia Beverly Hills contouring palette. But I love, love, love this one. So it has the three highlighting shades and then the three contouring shades. This one is sort of your orange based contour powder. This one is your gray cool base, which is the one that I use all the time. And then this one is quite ready based. Darker skin tones, these two would work really well on you. Nice tan, medium skin tones. Lighter skin tones like myself, definitely this one. Whoops, I'm not flipping you off. Sorry guys. <laughs> definitely this one. Now, Australis have also recently brought out a cream palette version of this, which I think is marvelous and I'm definitely going to get my hands on it. My personal favorite, if I want a good, like, strong contour um, is this kind of brush. Now this one came with my Benefits boxed blushes and um, it's quite, as you can see, it's quite thin, quite narrow and then it's quite wide on this side. So it just makes it perfect to get that contour line under your cheekbone. So now because these are very pigmented, you only need a little bit. So I'm just gonna dab in just twice and then tap it off on the lid, which explains why the lid is so dirty. <laughs> and then I'm going to start underneath my cheekbone. So pretty much where you wanna put your contour is if you go with your finger, you can feel down and where it goes under, right under there, underneath your cheekbone, that's where you wanna start your contour. And you pretty much wanna go from your ear to the tail of your eyebrow. So I'm just gonna go in 
start making that line. And so that's the unblended line. It looks pretty, pretty severe, <laughs> doesn't it? So now we're going to start blending it upwards. You don't want to blend downwards because that'll just defeat the purpose of having a contour. And again, you want the most, the most color, the most pigmentation up here. Make that line, make sure I don't go any further than the tail of my eyebrow and flick it up to blend it out. Everyone has different face shapes, right? So some people have a heart face shape. Some have a round, an oval, a square, a rectangle. You know, everyone's different. I've got quite a strong jawline and it's quite, it's quite square. I have quite a square face. I also have quite a large uh, forehead. So what I want to do with my forehead is I want to create shadows to make it appear smaller. If you have a small forehead, <laughs> uh, this sounds really weird. If you have a small forehead, you probably don't want to contour as much as I would because it would make it even smaller and you don't want that. So for my forehead, I'm going to use my F40 from Sigma. And again, I'm just going to tap lightly, lightly into my pen, tap it off and then just go along my hairline. So I'm going to focus most of it on the corners of my forehead. So as you can see, I'm already getting that, that shape there, that shadow. What I tend to do is I tend to stamp first and then blend it. Even though this side will mostly be taken up, covered by my fringe, you know, in case the wind comes and blows up my hair, I still wanna, I still wanna have that contour there. And I'm just going to put just a little bit right up here. Again, just making my forehead look smaller. Adding on to that, I'm going to contour my jawbone just to give me a stronger jawbone. That's when you use this brush again. It comes in real handy. And then I'm, where I'm going to go is pretty much directly on this jawline here. And that will give you that shadow like you've got a really strong jawline. You can go one step further, it's totally up to you, uh, but you could also contour your nose. So I'm going in with a smaller brush. This one is by Zoeva and it is a 227. And I'm just gonna start down here. Just following that line where that natural shadow is of my nose. But most of the day, I like never contour my nose. I'm just showing it for you as an example. Most of the time it's just underneath my cheekbones and my forehead. Okay, moving on to highlighting. I have very large pores. Anything, any kind of shimmer, any kind of shine, anything that reflects light that you put onto those pores will make them look larger. It's just a fact of life. So if you have large pores like myself, you do have to be careful. So I have to be careful with the balm, um, Mary Luminizer, because it is very intense. Today I'm gonna to be using incandescent light from the uh, Hourglass palette. And then I'm also going to be using this small tapered highlighting brush. You wanna highlight the high points of your face, the parts of your face that you want to stand out and look like they're popping. So first I'm going in on top, on the very tops of my cheekbones and then bringing that slightly down onto the cheek and then bringing it around as well, around that eyebrow. And it just gives you that lovely, lovely sheen. And then doing the same on the other side. Now I'm also going to put this down the center of my nose, just slightly. Again, hitting those high points on your face. A little bit on my cupid's bow. Tiny little bit on my chin, but not much because I do have oily skin. And then a little bit on the center of my forehead. And there you have it. That is my beginner's guide to highlighting and contouring your face. So that's it guys. I hope this was a helpful video for you and you learned something. If you've got any questions or queries, just ask me below in the comments. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon in my next video. Bye.